Hello everyone. Let's solve this quadratic equation and by using completing the square method. Well, for x squared plus 8x plus 3 equal to 0. So I'm going to solve this completely. So pay attention if you have problem with um, completing the square method. Now, the first step you're going to take is taking the constant to the right. So we're going to have 4x to the power of 2 plus 8x equal to 0 minus 3 will give us negative 3. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is dividing everything by the coefficients here so we will divide this by 4 divide this by 4 and divide this by 4 so that if we continue this can go with this and then x to the power of 2 plus 4 can go here 2 times so we have 2x then equal to negative 3 over 4 now, what again will I do? I'm going to add the square of the half of this, right? As a matter of fact, I can divide this by 2, right? So, the coefficient of x is um, 2. Divide it by 2 and then square this. So, I'm going to add this to both sides, right? So, I'm going to have... Um, we're going to have x squared plus 2x plus 2 over 2 to the power of 2, right? And then this will be equal to negative 3 over 4 plus 2 over 2 to the power of 2. Now, what can we see from here? From here we have x squared, right? Then plus 2x plus 1 squared, right? Okay, let me still have this in bracket because 2 over 2 is 1. And this will be equal to negative 3 over 4 plus 1, okay, 1 squared. And again, what can I do from here? Since I have picked this, I'm going to do away with this. That's one of the mistakes that um, a lot of students will make. So we have picked the coefficient of this. So I'll rather do away with this and combine these two. So I'm going to have x plus 1, and both of them are raised to the power of 2. So this will be equal to negative 3 over 4 plus 1 squared. Okay, and 1 squared will still give us 1, right? Now from here we have x plus 1 to the power of 2 being equal to, we will now have we are going to have, um, the this is over 1 as well, so we can have 4 as the LCM. Then 4 divided by 4 is 1 times minus 3 is minus 3. Plus 4 divided by 1 is 4 times 1 is 4. If we continue, then x plus 1 to the power of 2 is equal to the LCM is 4. Then we have um, minus 3 plus 4 will give plus 1. And now what do we do from here? We are going to square both sides, right? So we take the square root of x plus 1 to the power of 2. We're going to take the square root of both sides. And this will be equal to plus or minus square root of 1 over 4. The reason for this is to cancel this and this. And now x plus 1 is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 is 1 and square root of 4 is 2. So from here, what will I do? Make x the subject, right? So that if I do that, I will have x to be equal to plus or minus 1 over 2 minus 1. So here we have the value of x. And this means that x is equal to plus or minus, right? Then the LCM 
of the or better say we can rearrange this we can rearrange this in fact let me take a step further so x is the same thing as minus 1 plus or minus 1 over 2 so this is what we have so that if we continue with this is either x is equal to minus 1 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 plus 1 over 2 this is 2 or minus 1 minus 1 over 2 so continue with this our x will be equal to this is over 1 this is over 1 the lcm is still 2 then 2 divided by 2 is 1 um 2 divided by 1 is 2 times minus 1 that will give minus 2 then plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 1 is 1 or the same thing is applicable there so that we will have from um, 2 as the LCM then we have minus 2 minus 1 to continue with this our X will be equal to minus um, 1 over 2 or on this side we have minus 3 over 2 so here we have the two values of x. Thank you for watching.